Welcome to Grand Saline, hometown of Chris Tomlin. Visit the Chris Tomlin display at the Salt Palace Museum. And we'll look at the other side of the sign. Grand Saline ISD, welcome to Indian Country. And there's the Salt Palace in the background and the church in the background. This is the downtown area of Grand Saline, Texas. Chris Tomlin was born May 4th, 1972. He was raised here and went to school here. Chris Tomlin, of course, is a Christian music singer, songwriter, and worship leader. He has sold millions of records and has received GMA Dove Awards and a Grammy. And the school is home of the Indians. Chris Tomlin Boulevard in Grand Saline, Texas. And we're at the Salt Palace. Salt Palace Museum and Visitor Center. They're open Monday through Saturday at 9 to 4, and we're on Chris Tomlin Boulevard. This is a box of salt. This is the only building in the world made of pure rock salt. Now they only have salt on two sides, but it used to be uh, fully made of salt. Now in the museum they have a display of Wiley Post. He is one of the world's greatest aviators. He was the first person to fly solo around the world. And they have a historical marker here for Wiley Hardeman Post, 1898 to 1935. He and Harold Gaddy circled the world flying 15,474 miles in less than nine days in 1931. Post soloed around the world in less than eight days in 1933. He also invented and developed many items for flight. This is the front of the building. And this is the side, and it's all made of salt. And they have new salt out here. They just put in new salt. Now in the museum, they have a display of Chris Tomlin. This is the other side that doesn't have the salt. 
Now the salt bed runs across most of East Texas and Western Louisiana about four miles below the surface. The salt dome is estimated to last 20,000 years. That is a National Cash Register NCR, say people that make them today, that was actually used in Fruitvale, which is the next little town, and in Grand Saline. Gee. It's amazing. Kids younger than 15, you do not even know what that is. And if you tell them it's a cash register, they still don't know what it is. <laughs> you know, I never realized that you really don't see cash registers anymore. Yeah, not Banners. anymore. You really don't see them. It's computers now. Yeah, yeah. We see registers because we knew what they look like. But they, unless they played with one as a toy or something. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Tomlin. Morton Salt is here in Grand Saline. Mm -hmm. They've been here for a hundred years. Mm -hmm. Wiley Post.
as one of her non-domestic contributors. The Morton Salt Company houses a laboratory at the Grand Saline facility that constantly tests the quality and purity of the salt and salt products that come from the mill. Since salt is used in many food products, chemical and medical compounds, the knowledgeable staff of scientists and technicians always monitors the purity and integrity of the products that originate here. The level of product purity and worker safety, however, is governed by the local management of the Grand Saloon facility. The combination of production of evaporative salt and rock salt makes the salt facility in Grand Saloon one of the more competitive facilities in the United States. And of course, a huge contributor to the economy in East Texas, and especially Grand Saloon. From the more than 63,000 square foot warehouse, more than salt products are shipped to grocery and livestock supply warehouses, municipalities, and chemical manufacturers all over the United States. This is the famous church that Chris Tomlin went to. And his parents still attend. This is Grand Saline High School. in Grand Saline, Texas. Chris wrote his first worship song at age 14. And this is the high school where he went to school. During high school, he learned to lead worship in his youth group. He played basketball here. He graduated in 1990 and then he got degrees at Tyler Junior College and Texas A&M. In 2010, he married Lauren Bricken and now lives in Franklin, Tennessee. Here's the Indian football field. It says Carter Elliott Field. Indian Country. Indian Memorial Stadium. This is the Grand Saline Indian Baseball Field. And it's right next to the football field. 